So you, the game plan is going to be pretty much in the next three days. So you got the plan how to beat Clemson. <laughs> Believe so. How do you do that? Um, just be able to execute, be efficient, run the ball, protect the quarterback, and score touchdowns. Anything said about it's a very short series that Ohio State's ever beaten them? We've had a couple of you know, relatively recent losses. Any monkey there or anything about just that team? No, I mean, that's that's the past. We keep that in the past, and it's the present, and, you know, we're game planning to win. So that's all we're really worried about right now. General, what's the challenge of a defense that seems to bring a lot of exotic <coughs> pressures and never really sort of dictates where it's coming from? It seems like anything's on the table with them. Um, you know, just being able to identify it, pick up things on the fly, being able to predetermine what they're going to bring, you know, just studying up on film, studying up on their tendencies, and then being able to pick it up from there. How do you think that's gone for you guys this year, that identification and communication? I might say it's pretty, it's, it's gone, gone pretty well. You know, there's a couple mishaps, there always will be, but for the most part, I felt like we've done a pretty, pretty good job at that. Do they show true tendencies, though? Do they show stuff that you see it and you see it later, and they do the same thing? Do you get to watch tape like that? Yeah, yeah, we see, we see the... But they sometimes they have like a weekly blitz, so right. we'll see something like a little wrinkle they'll add. But you know we'll be ready for whatever. We'll go to the sideline, get it adjusted, and go from there. Johnny, you know uh, you got to ask this question of a guy like you. What is it like sitting here right now, compared to sitting where you were the last couple of years and stuff? I mean, how much of it? I mean, I guess how, how strange is, it, or how polar opposite is it, or what? What, what are what are your thoughts of? Where you've gotten to, you know what I mean? Compared Honestly, to if you told me I'd be here doing this right now, I'd probably laugh at you last year. But uh, you know, it's just a blessing, man. You just have these guys, everybody here around me, and being in this group and being a part of this culture and such a historical program is incredible. What did you get from your days uh, at, at Rutgers that that helped you? You know what I mean? As far as when you look back on it, that. Uh, just being kind of helped to, you rise this year. Just being able to persevere, you know, through through the ups and downs, and. Um, just being grateful, you know, for, for every opportunity given to me. Yeah. Drown out you. Not becoming complacent with anything. What are the biggest differences between this program and that one? Um, you know, what, what, what does Greg Schiano have in store for him I mean, as he far has, as rebuilding? He has a lot of talent. He has a lot of people there in the, in the building that are, are, are great people. And uh, it's just a matter of getting it done on Saturday, honestly. Just putting the ball in the end zone and stopping the other team from scoring. That's what it really comes down to. Jonah, you came here with a perspective of um, – having played somewhere else. How much were you aware that, um, you know, Ryan Day was going through all this stuff as a first year coach? I mean, could you tell at times that he was running things for the first time or just talk about what you saw in him? Honestly, no. Year? He looked like, a, he's, he's, he seems like a seasoned veteran what he's doing. I mean, he was, was under one of the greatest coaches in college football all time. So, I mean, I haven't seen a, an ounce of like new guy in him or nervousness at all. He's he's very good. Even from the beginning. Even from the beginning. And then from the day I met him at Cap City Diner. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Uh, is there more than one Cap City? Like here, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess the one near campus. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, one more thing. The original. Um, yeah, the original. I, I'm not sure. Are you a grad student? Yes, I am. Okay. Were you taking courses online? All uh, your courses no, online. No, all my classes were. Right after class, I mean, right after practice, seven to nine forty-five. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay. Were, were you aware that other players having online courses? Yeah, but the, the program I'm in didn't, didn't have online courses, so that's why I couldn't take any. So. Okay. Do you wish you could have? I mean, I don't. Care. I mean, what? Wh how did that? Were you able to fit that in with your football requirements? I mean, how tough was that? Um, it was pretty tough, but you know. Staying on top of things. I mean, being a grown man, it's it's as simple as that. You know, there's going to be some adversity in class and football, so it's being able to handle it. Hey, I was asking you a while ago about you know making that switch from from Rutgers to here, but is there a sense of like Christmas has kind of come early for you as a player <laughs> this year? I mean, just what what is that sense of what you're enjoying? I guess this year, um, Jonah. I'm enjoying a lot, man. You know, yeah, Christmas definitely came early, and um, hopefully we get a couple more presents. Yeah. In the future, so and you know, just just from a standpoint of being in a program, you know, I'm not I'm not discounting at all Rutgers' effort and stuff like that. But being part of a winning program, what's different about it? I mean, what is 
What do you feel is just different about this place? Um, you know, coming back after a win on a Sunday, it's it's a good feeling, not a bad feeling. And, you know, everybody's just – the mood is, is a lot more yeah. brighter. Don't have to be stirred. Yeah. It's just – yeah. This is your first bowl game, right? Yes, sir. So, like, is that wild? Like, this is your last year of college football, and, like, you're just now playing in a bowl game, and it's possible to play for a national championship. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty wild. But, uh, you know, I'm grateful to at least have one in my time, and I'm excited for sure. So, like, 18 years old, and I come to you and I tell you this is how your career is going to go, or your first bowl game isn't going to be to your last year, but you might be playing for a national championship. Like, is that – Hey, uh, I probably would have been a little upset that it would be my first one being a young guy, but now realizing all the things that I've gone through and, and seen, um, it's incredible. I can't wait. I'm excited. Does it make it? Does it make you appreciate it more? I mean, how would you describe it? I mean, uh, it definitely makes it me, me appreciate it for sure, and especially the stage that it's on and, and the game that it's in. It's something that I, I wouldn't even have been able to believe if you yeah. had told me that a couple years ago. So. You know, we've talked to you before about but the way you've mixed in with these guys immediately and stuff, and there was a good vibe in the room. You know, you know, you were, you know, six months or a year ago, probably somebody was thinking they're going to play left guard for Ohio State. You know what I mean? But uh, what, 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 what was your approach to that, Jonah, as far as, like, making sure you mixed in with these guys immediately? You know, just, just earning my stripes, uh, getting around the guys outside of the, the facility and hanging out with them and, you know, just put my head down and go to work so they can see that I, I work. I'm not just about to yeah. talk and I'm about some action. So. Hey, Jonah, you, you and Justin both stepped in as transfers and made a huge impact. Does that say more about you and Justin, or does it say more about the program? Um, I'd say it says more about the program, just how, how welcoming they are into the brotherhood and, and, and the people in here and how they help the transition of coming from another school to coming here and being around a whole different group of people. is It's incredible. In what ways were you helped? Um, well, the academic staff, you know, they helped me out with, with figuring out my classes and then the, the, the players here, man, you know, those guys are second to none, just great, great dudes, well-respected, uh, good character individuals, and, and I'm appreciative of how they accepted me into this. Jonah, uh, there's been a little bit of talk about the three interior guys on your offensive line the last few weeks. and. A lot of that's sort of about the athleticism that you guys have and sort of the speed you guys can play with a lot of these zone runs and stuff like that. When you first got in here, I guess it was in June, and you, you lined up next to Josh and Wyatt, what stood out to you about those guys in, in that regard? And I don't know where you, I don't know if surprise is the right word, but just what was your first impression of, of the way those guys played? Um, I'd say probably both of them, their football IQ, you know, their ability to understand things, different concepts, and, and, and what goes on in the game, especially for being new starters it was like wow all right these guys are legit they're gonna be big timers and then just seeing their ability to do stuff in drills and then josh is ripped up like no other he looks like a chrome man bodybuilder so it's just like wow these i'm excited to get get going with these dudes when you were looking at your options when you decided to grad transfer how much talk did you have with coach day and, and coach stud about the scheme and how did you think maybe you fit in with what seems like it's come a pretty good like yeah. bread and butter play I mean, outside zone for you guys. This for year. A, for a lot of my time, we had a similar offense. My first year, we basically right. had the same exact offense they were running like uh, last year, and a lot of the calls were similar. So that was something that definitely took part in my decision, and the transition wasn't anything too hectic. What about skill set on those on the, these? I don't know, it was only laboring the point, but the, the zone runs where you guys get out in space and you're really moving, getting that yeah. velocity going out wide, just. Did you know coming here that that would fit your skill set, or did you? Oh learn yeah, that every yeah. Because we, you know, I'd honestly say before I came here, my favorite play would be like outside zone, some stretch. So mm -hmm. once we were able to get that going here, I was I was excited. What was that your favorite? Just because it's. It's just you get running, get to show off your athleticism, get to the second level, bang up the first level, and, and keep going. Use momentum. Yeah. <laughs> Use momentum. Hey, when, when, did, when did it strike you, uh, John? Part of the year did it strike you that y'all were a. Not just an offensive line, but y'all were a special offensive line. I mean, when did you sense that y'all had something really good going? Well, I sense I sense that the, the probably the first week of practice. You know, they, these guys are legitimate players, and going against the defensive line that we have and the defense we have, and their ability to handle them and yeah. and, and go to work, it was like, wow, well, all right, we can we can really get things rolling here. But that goes against the old you know the old thing is you used to think uh, offensive line had to play together for a year or two for they really got a yeah. feel for each other, but that. Well, if, you have, if, you, if you have a good group of guys that believe in each other, that trust in each other, and, and and are able to, you know, just be able to execute everything efficiently, 
It don't matter how long you've been together for. Yeah. It's just a matter of putting it together on Saturday. Hey, Jonah, I'm not looking to start a controversy or anything, but <laughs> yeah, who had a better Heisman look, Justin or Chase? Um, I don't know. They both look really good. I can't really <laughs> pick between the other because, you know, Justin was putting things in the end zone and Chase was putting people on the back. So, I mean, yeah. I think they were pretty equal. Like you mentioned early Christmas. It's a weird part of this whole setup is that you guys are going to be away from Christmas. You got kind of these few days before it. So, as you go about planning it, what's your schedule like to get home, to get back, to actually celebrate? Like, how does all that work with the fan? Um, I mean, I'm a big boy now, so like, <laughs> I don't need to wake up and sit on my stair and take some Christmas pictures, open my stocking anymore. I mean, it'd be awesome too, but you know, they're they're going to be out in Arizona and they'll, they'll celebrate it with me out there, and then probably before I head out. So. I forgot to ask you, uh, Last what question, graduate Florida. degree were you pursuing? Uh, it was in sports coaching. Sports coaching. Are you still, have you finished that? Or are you still no, I haven't finished. I only have one semester done, but okay. I think I have like Did another year. Did you have two year. courses this No, I, have, I had three. You had three yep. this, three graduate courses this semester? Yep. Okay. Jonah, just one more quick, just one, more quick one. Um, has anybody popped on Clemson film that you've watched? Like anybody, I know you guys have just kind of started watching, but what's... Yeah, they're, I mean, they're... they're they're, they're the defending national champs, so there's a lot of guys on that team. The, the defensive front, you know, they they got a lot of dudes that are twitched up, and then their their linebacker unit, they're downhill, they're they're efficient when they're blitzing, and then their secondary is is really good. So excited they, to get after them. They lost through the defensive linemen like to the NFL draft, like all first round picks. Are they? Did you do you watch them? How do you sense them? They are compared to last year. Um, I'd say they're pretty good. Actually, really good. The drop off. Uh. I mean, I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to see when we play them. Joni, you have former teammates hitting you up to gather intel on what it's like to play for Greg Schiano. Um, I know you didn't play for him, but you're around a lot of guys who, who did. No, not really. I mean, I, I, I haven't really been hit up by anybody else. They just said he, he seems like a great dude, and I'm excited to get playing for him. Cool. <laughs> Thanks, John. Thanks, of course. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe below to get the latest videos from Letterman Row. We got Letterman Live, we've got the practice report, we got rapid reaction. Hey, and you know we got Buckeye Key with Zach Bourne. For sure. We got recruiting breakdowns with Berm. We got whatever you need. Ohio State football and Ohio State Athletics.